Welcome to Air Hydro. This brief video has been made to give you an idea of how to set the APU 1B series test unit up and also to give you an idea of how to operate it. I hope you find it useful. The APU 1B series is an air operated power unit designed for generating high pressure hydraulic power using an air supply. You need to first connect an air supply to this coupling here which is a 3 8 Chicago coupling. Alternatively you can remove this coupling which I'll leave a 3 8 MPT female connection you could connect to. The air supply should be clean, dry and be at least 3 8 bore. The APU requires a clean water oil or oil water mixture uh, connecting up to this connection here which is a half inch Chicago coupling. You can remove this coupling if you prefer and connect to the half inch MPT female connection which will be exposed once the coupling is removed. You can purchase these Chicago couplings from hardware stores such as Granger. To connect the APU to the item which you need to pressurise, you need to connect a suitable hose or pipe tube to this connection here which is a half inch MPT female. The hose and the fittings that you connect to this unit must be suitable for the full working pressure of the APU. The outlet manifold has a connection to which there is a length of reinforced plastic tubing connected. The end of this plastic tube needs to go to drain or to a receptacle or bucket. Fluid will be discharged from the end of this tube each time pressure is released from the high pressure outlet manifold. After switching on the air supply to the APU, please ensure that the pump start stop valve is in the closed position which is as it's shown now and the air pressure regulator is fully closed. You can do this by winding the handle anti-clockwise until it becomes free and easy and you can't screw it anymore. Once you've done this you can then switch on the air supply to the APU. The specimen that is connected to the APU via the hose uh, which in turn is connected to the outlet manifold should have some sort of port with a plug or a bleed valve to bleed the air out of the test specimen prior to pressurising it using the APU. It's very important to evacuate all air out of the output hose and the item to be pressurised. Usually this is done using a bleed valve connected to the test specimen or like I say a test plug. Uh, the test plug or the bleed valve should be open and once this is done you can then start up the pump again. You can start the pump again by opening the pump start stop valve and the pump will start to reciprocate again and the fluid will be pumped out of the unit through the hose and the test specimen um, until fluid starts to come out of the vent valve fitted to the test specimen or the test plug. Uh, once you see fluid coming out of the test specimen then that would indicate that all air has been purged out of the system. Um, you, just, you should then go back to the APU and close the pump start stop valve to stop the pump operating. The vent valve or plug fitted to the test specimen should now be closed and the APU can be started to apply pressure to the test specimen. To proceed, open the pump start stop valve when the pump will start to operate again. Pressure will now start to build up on the outlet pressure gauge. The pressure will rise until the pressure balances out with the air pressure that's applied to the pump. You can increase the pressure uh, obtainable from the pump by winding the handle of the air pressure regulator clockwise. Continue to adjust the air pressure regulator until the desired outlet pressure is reached on the pressure gauge. Once you're happy you've reached the right 
test pressure on the, on the outlet pressure gauge. You can then stop the pump again by closing the pump start stop valve and by closing the isolation valve on the test manifold. Once you've closed the isolation valve, the pressure indicated on the pressure gauge is that that's applied to the test specimen. Any decay on the pressure gauge from here on will indicate that there is a leak in the system or the test specimen is leaking. Once the test pressure has been held for the required length of time, the pressure can be released in the system by opening the pressure isolation valve and the pressure release valve. The pressure will be released out through the drain tube at the back of the unit and the gauge will indicate when the pressure uh, has been completely released. The test specimen can now be disconnected from the unit and the air pressure regulator closed by winding the handle anti-clockwise until it becomes free and easy and it won't go any further. The unit is now ready for the next test. If the APU is to be used to test a batch of items at the same pressure, the pressure on the air pressure regulator can be set and locked by pushing the handle down and each time the unit is operated the pump will generate the same pressure. Thereafter the pump can be started and stopped using the pump start stop valve and like I say the pressure of the pump will always go to the preset value set by the pressure regulator before it was locked. To unlock the air pressure regulator you simply lift up the handle again and then you can uh, adjust the pressure regulator down to zero or to whatever pressure is required for any given test. The outlet manifold of the APU is fitted with an additional port which is normally plugged. This plug can be removed and a pressure transducer or pressure recorder connected to this port. This video was made to give you an idea of the APU's capabilities. Please refer to the operating instructions provided with the unit prior to use. Thank you very much for watching this video.